Okay, so now we're ready to put this all together. It's gonna go in there like this, so let's go ahead and get this bearing in place. or pulleys but they're five millimeter and eight millimeter so I gotta drill a hole I'll be back okay now I have that set right this belt on here Here's a half inch aluminum round stock and I'm going to use this as my standoff. So okay so what we're going to do is we're going to center drill it and then we're going to drill it out to tap one side for a quarter inch. So one side we're going to tap at quarter inch and the other side we're going to tap at uh, five sixteenths. So let's go ahead and get this center drilled here. Sorry for the wobbliness. Speaking of wobbliness, that's pretty wobbly.
hoping to do here is to put this guy onto here. I'll have to make a couple of flat spots so I can get a wrench on there. But the idea is that right there and then have a plate, not necessarily this plate, but put a plate in here. Can't get it to fit anywhere. And then with this plate, attach this to it. And that's how we will drag that drive train. That is what I'm thinking anyway. But we're going to have to take this guy here and maybe cut in a, maybe we'll do a hex on here so we can get a, a wrench on there, tighten it up inside of there. And then we'll just make a bracket to that piece over there. Okay, let's start. Let's start. Okay, let's see about getting this stuff installed here. Should go right on. No problem. And then I made another piece here that attaches that attaches to my drag chain. So you can see my aluminum block. Now we will lay this down in here. And we will attach this right here. Okay, so that's as far as it's going to go, right there, which is, I think, fine. I'm okay with that. And then I got to get this other side bolted down, but right, let's get a better view. Okay. So, here it goes. So you can just do a short piece because you can see here, I mean, technically you can stop it about right here somewhere and have a shorter piece. Um, the only thing is your wires are just going to be hanging there. I like the idea of keeping all my wires in here. So it looks nice there. There it is. And like I said, I'll probably weld, I don't know, a few tabs on here. I don't have to have a lot, just a couple, just to prevent that from ever wanting to kind of pop out. It should never, because it's fastened here and fastened here. What else? So I might just put one in the center somewhere, just to be sure. Okay, so I'm starting to run some wire through here. Um, so right now I'm going to be working on getting these wires in a good location where they're not gonna get caught or rubbed on anywhere under here. So as you can see, I have some zip ties. I'll do stuff like that so I can zip tie them in place so they will not be able to move once they are where I need them. So I think these wires are actually gonna just kind of slide through. 
I'll drill holes right through here and they'll plug where I need them to be plugged. So that'll be going here. Same thing like this one. This one will come over here and catch on to my float switch here. Uh, I need to look for some, see if I have any um, heat shrink to go on these. So I can heat shrink these um, just for a little more protection. Same thing. And then also just so you don't got this big mess of wires too. And then those wires are these guys, the motor wires. So we'll get these all wired up and check it out.